Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome to Atomic Heart. If you haven't seen the trailers for this game, you should go check them out. I saw the trailers for this game, I don't know if it was months or years ago. This game was announced quite a while ago. And whoever did their trailers really knows what they're doing because they are some of the coolest trailers I've ever seen. The music is great, the visuals are amazing, and you just at least for me just watching the trailers i'm like what in the world is going on things that i've never seen before in a video game i was like i have got to check this out so here we are atomic heart i'm not going to talk anymore i'm just going to hit start we're going to do a new game and we're going to play atomic heart looks like we've got uh some maybe some um difficulty settings here maybe we've got peaceful adam we are pleased to welcome you on an easy sightseeing tour of Facility 3826, Comrade. Spectacular and dynamic battles with robots won't take too much effort or distract you from the narrative. Of course, you'll still have to fight, but only the plot will keep you on your toes. I like it when games do this, you know? Sometimes you just want to just experience the game, just explore without having to worry too much about how difficult it is. Local malfunction. Do you like to overcome difficulties? That's admirable. We'll leave you to it. This is no walk in the park. Some combat situations may seem difficult and objectives will require know-how, but you can always be inspired by a sense of your own superiority after completing each stage. Just try to stay more alive than dead. And then there is Armageddon. Do you have a vivid imagination and dark thoughts? What can you do? That's just how it is. Buckle up, a real nightmare is in store where you'll need experience reaction speed, and the skills to properly manage your resources to survive. Save your bullets and always keep one in reserve for yourself. I don't see any reason why I would want to torture myself with the super, super hard. Let's just go with local malfunction. It sounds like it's going to be plenty challenging as it is. I wonder who Charles is. Don't constantly rush about. Sometimes it pays to take a minute. Stop and consider how on earth something something. Let's go. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> So this was the ideal workplace. Floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Really, 1950? Okay. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. So she you sounds like she's probably a robot. Brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. I think there's a parade or something, maybe. There's all kinds of brightly colored things in the water here. Whoa. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, would I care for some soda? Do I have to answer this question? Oh, sure, thanks. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, thanks. Oh. It's timed. If you don't pick something, it picks it for you. I feel like maybe I missed something there. People were Looks talking. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I mean, it's a nice-looking game. I think it was made with the Unreal Engine. Wow, day. With your Vovas box on train. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. I think they're fighting over that box Give me over there. Code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. <laughs> they have a pet pig. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. 
Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. I like how colorful it is. I like how there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people if on the banks. Order to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. eyeballing me over there. Okay, so we've got a little objective marker over there. No rest for the wicked. Reach the park, it says. Can we talk to people? Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Okay. So Sechenov is the guy we were just talking to. He said he had some things to do. Maybe that was it. Oh my gosh, look hey, at this thing. that bot's actually pretty good. Love it. Nice coordination. Did you just That's praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. Wow. So I guess maybe our glove talks to us? It's a robot, maybe? I'm not sure. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I think the graphics look pretty good. I think they look real good, actually. And I say that because this is a, I think, a pretty small studio that made this game. Don't know if they've made any other games besides this one. So we got a robot here cleaning the streets. Step right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. A thought device? The pace of technological progress is breathtaking. No Get yourself a thought. Oh, we can't talk to him. Let's talk to him. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Did you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Oh, okay. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight. <laughs> but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Uh, sure, why not? All right, then. seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. 
So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hmm. Hey, you. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead. Since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. Okay. So that was weird. We couldn't use that thing because it couldn't read our biometric data, so... I don't know, maybe it's a clue as to something's wrong with us. We're special. Hello. Oh, it's a robot. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's ask her some questions. What's going on in biology right now? So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. Hmm, okay, what about uh, robotics? What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. Yeah, me too. Uh, what can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking what as a professional. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Of course. All right, let's get out of here. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter. But it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. I have a menu. How do I get to it? Is it tab? Nope. Not tab. Escape? Nope. Well, maybe the game will tell me at some point. It's just a few days until the new collective comes online. Imagine that. Never thought he'd make it. Get yourself a thought, or your life will come So he's selling those thought things, too. Big statue there. Is she who we're supposed to talk to? Uh, no. That's just a checkpoint. Can I jump? There's no jumping. At least I can't jump yet. Can I crouch? There is crouching. I can crouch. And then I saw dodge when I was setting up the controls, but I don't seem to be able to dodge. Another thought person here. Uh, where'd my marker go telling me which way to go? Okay, it's, uh, right over here. Oh, look at this guy, he's playing music. What a great performance. Nice. Come on, come on. Can you show us the photograph? Uh, I think I blinked. Oh, neat. Oh, no, I blinked. <laughs> Did you really have to make that face? Let's do it one more time. But this time, make sure the atom's in the picture. Oh, can I be in the picture this time? Well, let's just take the picture the way we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the picture. Say cheese. Cheese. Get ready for your grip photo. 
photo comrades. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we're in the picture. There's room. Uh, oh, another one. Get the Adam in the picture and the too. statue as well. Um, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's what is that thing that's way up there? I guess that's the Adam they're mentioning. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, like this. Say cheese. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. All right, let's go. Check this guy out. I can talk to him too. Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh man, that was good. <laughs> that looks sure good. He's gonna get brain freeze. Holy crap, dude! Just throw it on the ground. This place out. That bot is the real deal. The game just saved because we made it to a checkpoint. So that that uh, somebody back there asked us if we were polymerized. Learn about the history of facility thirty eight twenty six. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Okay. Interesting. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And... I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Breaking news. A Drofa robot called Galileo has just finished I've heard all the citizens. So much stuff going on. Check this thing out. Huh. Interesting. That robot is known as a Belly. Comrades. Like a fried dough bowl? But why? It's a welder robot. If you ask any questions, it'll fry your fanny. How rude. <laughs> Plus, robots can't fry anybody. It's against their programming to harm a human being. Yeah, I know that. Man, so many conversations going on. Look at this. Oh, it's much more peaceful over here. Huh. Oh, this is a bunch nicer. It was a little too hectic over there for me. I prefer this. Go that way. Me and the guys need to talk about this. Need to talk well, about something. Hello there, my friends. Uh. I kept you safe from bullets, but not the fascist plague. So here I am, the last one. <sighs> hey, Slevka. Today's your birthday, right? And you thought I'd forget? I never forget. Glory. What is making that noise? Wow, science is amazing. The power of the polymers is incredible. <laughs> what is that noise? The stars can be so close. It's as if I could reach out and touch them with my hand. Uh, where'd my marker go? Is this where I'm supposed to go? What is that noise? Is that you making that noise? I'm gonna say it's you making that noise. Don't really know why you're making that noise. Hello. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective! Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally! This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want 
a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Oh, okay. Let's take this capsule. Interesting. I hope that we're not supposed to swallow that. with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? <laughs> the Spanish Inquisition? Oh, scanner. To activate the scanner, hold left alt. Oh, geez. I'll have to re remap that at some point, probably. Uh, okay. Activate the scanner. Let's do it. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future, but for now, Please continue with your mission. Hmm. So we can see hidden objects, like people in the other room. I'm wondering why when I look outside, like only one person lights up. Right? See, there's people out there, but only one person off in the distance lights up. Why don't these people in the foreground light up? You know what I'm saying? What's so special about that person over there? But they light up, but all these people don't. I don't know. Everybody in here lights up, though, it looks like. Okay, it's kind of cool. Well, let's move on here. Too bad I can't read Russian. Two days left. Oh! Okay, if you look at it, it translates it for you. Of the new collective... Until the launch. Okay. Two days left until the launch of the new collective, I guess. Hey, go, hey, what's up? Going? Oh, check this guy out. Interesting. I must say, though, why does a robot have to use a keyboard? Can't he just, like, plug in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great sound effects. <laughs> Look at that guy running over there. <laughs> I like how they give these guys a mustache. So do robots show up in my scan? They do. Good to know. Yeah, somebody's getting assembled over here. Or is it disassembled? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, look at this. Interesting. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, what does this say? This says, it's coming. 
This guy has something to say to us. Welcome, comrade. That's some interesting art you got there. You like it? They were made by robots for this festive occasion. Hmm. Um, yeah, sure. It looks like a bot job to me. Yeah, it looks like a bot job to me. You don't like it? We analyzed dozens of drawings made by various Komsomol art instructors in order to imitate the style. Please point out what exactly is not to your liking, and we will amend our practice in the future. <laughs> uh, okay. So you're celebrating too, huh? You're celebrating too? Naturally. We are part of Collective 2. For us robots, universal polymerization is our goal. Our duty, even our feet of labor. Would you like me to explain in more detail? No, no, thanks anyway. I'm in a hurry. Yeah, we're in a hurry. Is this the artwork he's talking about? What? What's the artwork he's referring to? Because if that's it, yeah. It's not that great. Ooh, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, so we don't talk to this guy. We talk to her. No, we don't talk to her either. Okay. Yeah, what's behind the curtain? Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Another game save there. Don't go that way. Check this out. Wow. It's a lot of uh Greetings, comrade. Movement. I am Dimitri Sechenov, and this is facility 3826. Oh, he's up there. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing revolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know. Uh huh. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few days. Thanks to my invention, the Bureau of Polymers, process of Meg and Ash, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the collective two-way net. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor, and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the Neural Connector Thought. It will allow human beings to be in the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind Free of all boundaries. Thanks, Thanks to the thought new connector, you will control robots with your mind. mind. Mastering academic subjects with running into speed. Accessing all human knowledge, knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You report to the lobby of the high rise control rise panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks. These old cars. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device so is glad to possible see you're taking it via a tiny injection of neural... The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Where you it's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. In five minutes, in just five minutes, you'll become the future. Love the reflections. As a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your this. compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Wow, look at these mosaics. 
your specs reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived. ...to death and become Homo Futuro among the first. The future is already yours. Is this the elevator? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe this is just... Oh, this is the elevator. Here we go. Oh, that doesn't look safe. <laughs> okay. It's weird. I can't quite see the the top. Maybe that is the top right there. Can't seem to sit down. Or if there is a way to sit down, I don't know what the button is to press. All right, we're going up pretty far here. So there was a lot of effort put into that celebration we just saw outside. Hopefully the rest of the game lives up to that. Lots of sound, movement. Pretty impressive. Well, the game wants me to go that way. Can I go this way? I cannot. Do I have a map? I do not. At least the M button doesn't bring up a map. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Are they, like, way bigger than us? I feel very small right now. Check this room out. So we came in here just to pick up that key and then to turn around and leave. This is some interesting art style here. <laughs> Like the, I guess the Russian or Soviet version of the Concord there. Uh, it's a name I don't remember right now. I think it starts with a T. Yeah, this is... What a, what a strange design choice to have me come up the elevator to walk in this room just to receive a key from these two robots and then go right back down. I just find that kind of strange. Uh, let's see here. So Tam doesn't do anything. Um, and Jay doesn't do anything. A lot of times Jay is a journal. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. So just wondering if maybe I could see what my current goals Session are. Off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. 
Well, we know our name now, Sergei. It's not just P3. So yeah, this, um, I guess this city that we're in, this facility is floating. Not sure how, but it's very Bioshock Infinite. And I've heard this game described such... It's like a combination of Bioshock and... I don't know, maybe Fallout. You know, an alternate... History. That's one hell of a car. But it's still an internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That'll be something. Got that right. It'll be something. Oh, cool. Uh, do we get to drive? Oh, we got some achievements. Huh. The motherland does not forget its heroes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna go for a drive. Oh, hey. Oh, whoa. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. That was a scary looking robot. Whoa. Oh, okay. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in one of every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of the robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. Oh, look, there's another city fly floating over there. Gives you an idea. I guess that's what we're on right now. Although I don't see the propellers for this particular city. Wish I could look around a little bit more. The game keeps trying to force me back to looking forward. See, I look down and it... That's not me making it do that. The game makes it do that. I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. <laughs> I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. So the city that we were on had a different design than these other ones. The propellers are like underneath of it instead of on top of it. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. 
Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational cool. center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibelnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Drove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? Oh. Do not Shit! Until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Ravenhoff-Kalfenbach-Brown facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, my. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. <laughs> the elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That was a really, really neat intro. It was a long intro, but it was really cool. Man, that uh, flying over the that city like that, that was really neat. So the robots have gone hostile.
head's killing me. Ugh. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. We've got a scanner here. Okay, so things are in red over there. Oh, something's moving. Look at that. Something's... This thing's moving over there. Right there looks like a person. Oh, look! Huh? Okay, I could... I, you, I scanned something. So that's a lab tech. He's vulnerable to what? I'm gonna guess. I'm looking at these things on the side of the screen here. I want this scanner message to go away so I can have my whole screen back. So over there. I'm not sure what. It looks like something's moving. I'm not sure what. And something's over there as well. Look, it's moving. But the scanner isn't telling me about it. Got a body here. So dead bodies don't show up on the scanner. Okay, game, I get it about the scanner. You could, you could take that off the screen now. Oh, there's a pig there. Can I scan the pig? Okay, so it's the pigs that's I'm scanning. There's chickens and pigs. And in order to hack something, good old left mouse, right mouse. Oh. It's like a strong attack. Left mouse, doesn't matter whether I hold it down or not. Right mouse, stronger, or I could kind of charge it. Look at this, charge it up. Take a stronger hit. Little drawings here. No robot here. Oh, that's some nice details in this game. Kind of digging it. Let's see, middle mouse button doesn't do anything. Scrolling the mouse button. I only have one weapon, so can't choose other weapons. Okay, scanner, I get it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm holding left alt. Okay. You can get off the screen now. I'm pretty sure I saw a yep, a humanoid over here. So we've got a VOVA6 lab tech. It's not resistant to anything, but it's vulnerable to, I'm going to guess, fire, frost, and then there's a couple other things there I can't tell. It contains metal parts and synthetic material. And then there's this over here, a little, little box or something. That's another lab tech over there. These chickens are cracking me up. Uh, so we got a little bit of fighting to do coming up here, it looks like. Okay. Let's try to sneak up on this guy. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Don't know if they're sneaking in this game. It's over here. Oh, this thing's kind of like... Why is that thing like see-through? What is this thing? See that? What is this? Whoa, what the... What? In the polymer. I was not the man. What? To emerge from the polymer, use A. What on earth was that? What the hell? Huh? Can I swim up in the polymer and get to this ladder? What the heck? 
Okay, I can't get my um, my horizon. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. And I'm not sure why we have to use A to get out of the polymer. Okay. Whoa. What is that thing? That does not show up as anything. Okay, here comes a robot at me. I guess I'm going to have to take a swing at it. Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, he hit me. Okay. Weak hit. Heavy hit. Okay, we've knocked him down. You can see, I think my health is in the lower left-hand corner. Looks like I took a little bit of a hit there. Okay, so I do have a dodge. I don't really like using dodge with a keyboard. I have to see if I can figure out a better way to map that key. I can jump. I can crouch. Okay. Let's see, he's hit me again. Okay, I was hoping I could dodge out of the way there. Because uh, I'm already about half health. Ooh, ooh, what? Neuropolymer, small neuromed capsules, some synthetic material, and some metal parts. Okay, to make sure that we loot these guys. What is with this polymer business? You go into it. Oh, what's this? Metal parts. So you go into the polymer and you hear voices. The mind leads us. Voices of the I've past, maybe. I've polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. It's a frickin' miracle of modern science. Okay, if you say so. Chop pig. Not sure if I missed it or if I just can't hit the pig. Let's see. Oh my gosh! What is wrong with me? Why <laughs> would I do that? <laughs> the big old gash in the pig. Uh, I need to know how to heal myself because... What is that chicken doing? We are not off to a good start. Okay, I was trying to use dodge that time. This pig is angry with me now. I do not need... I do not need to deal with the pig. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Oh my gosh. Can I loot this guy? No? Isn't that the one I just took down? Hey, buddy. Huh. He's... What, what just happened to his face? Did I see something weird happen to his face? Not sure. Not sure if he's gonna figure out how to stand up or not. So that last guy that I killed, oh, I'm not sure if that's the right word. I didn't get the opportunity to loot him, so I don't know if there's a time limit to looting, or if he just simply didn't have anything. I don't know. So a little bit of scanning here. There's that guy there, another one of these lab tech guys. Well, maybe if I chop him up, we'll get some parts from him. So let's just go ahead and put him out of his misery. <laughs> Broke him in half. He doesn't have any parts, though, unfortunately. So no parts from him. I gotta figure out how to get health. Let's see, do I have an inventory? Oh, oh, I do. Okay, here is a small Neuromed capsule. The medical polymer Neuromed quickly restores health after light scrapes. Let's use this item. Okay, we're healed up. The scanner's not showing us anything. Do I have a journal now? No. What about tab? Whoa. What? Okay, so this is like a quick uh, menu thing here. Swede. Okay. It's the name or brand of our hatchet we've got here, I guess. Okay, this is a fine looking game. Last time we walked into a polymer, we picked up some stuff. Let's see if there's anything in this one. The mind leads us. 
I actually swim through it. My, my guy is like swimming through it. So bizarre. What is up with this polymer? It's a big sphere here. That's a, that's a polymer itself. Can I hack through these branches? No. Oh, what's that noise? I just heard a noise from my right, I felt like. Do a scan again. Oh. What's this? Not sure what that is up there. I think that sound I heard might have been like a cow or something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Holy shit. What is that? Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Okay, that was neat. I don't know what it was. Oh, somebody's saying help me. Who needs help? Oh, I saw. Okay, is it a body, a person over here? Hey, you! I'm coming. You alive in there? Oh, oh, yeah. Let's let this guy out. Huh. Okay. Are you going to be friendly? Oh. No, he's not. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Oh, gross. There's a body in there. Oh, he's been putting bodies down here. Is there anything I can do? It doesn't look like it. What on earth? What the hell? Oh, go fuck yourself! This is all... Get the scripted. Whoa. What happened? Oh, hey, thanks. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. <laughs> this place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. <sighs> what are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. <laughs> Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. <laughs> the Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Uh oh. Shit! It's a chiller! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! Okay. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! <laughs> Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. What? You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. <laughs> what are you planning? Here we go. Oh, what? Riding my ass for two days now. Take that! Eat shit and die! Can we do anything? Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh no, Granny!
a goddamn clusterfuck. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for your help, Granny. Ooh, that was crazy. Most of it was really just watching it happen. I did not get to participate in that at all. Uh, except for those parts where I was walking and uh, hitting the uh, robot dudes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this, end this episode here. Pretty cool start to the game. I am looking forward to seeing what else is going to happen. I hope you are too. Uh, are you going to play this game? What do you What do you think? Are you going to give it a try? Uh, have you already played it before you're watching this? I'd like to know what your thoughts are on the game so far. I, uh, I think it's off to a pretty cool start. There's like a little circle over there. I'm not sure what that is. But we will look at it in the next episode. So it is time for me to end this one. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I want you to know you can do that by leaving me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post new episodes of Atomic Heart. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again in the next episode.